Yanagisawa has a new neck design out and we're going to find out how they play differently and if you should consider getting one. While testing these I came across a major difference between the old design and the new design that I haven't seen mentioned anywhere on the internet. The new design is called a KZ neck and it comes in three different metals brass, bronze, and solid silver. Before I tell you what's new with these necks, let's have a play test. I'm going to play my Yanagisawa W033 alto saxophone with the original neck that comes with it. The mouthpiece I'll be playing on is the Better Sax Burnin 7 tip opening, and I'm using the same Better Sax Jazz Cut 2.5 reed. The ligature I'm using is also a new product by Yanagisawa, and it's simply called the Yanni ligature. I put timestamps in this video so you can jump back and forth between the different playing examples easily. Please let me know your thoughts about how these necks are different or the same in the comments. <laughs> Now I love that original W.O. neck. It plays great. See if you can detect any subtle differences between that and these new KZ models. The first one up is the brass. <laughs> Each of these new necks fit perfectly into my W033. It was very nice that I didn't have to make any adjustments to get a good fit. Now let's listen to the KZ bronze neck. <laughs> So what'd you think of that one? Did you hear any differences in the tone or character? Let's listen to the solid silver KZ neck now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
back and listen again as many times as you need to. I want to thank Yanagisawa for sending me these next to try out and demo for you. As you may know, I've been playing on Yanagisawa saxophones for nearly 20 years now, and I've always been very impressed with their consistency and quality. The KZ necks are just like all other Yanagisawa products in that they're made extremely well and they're beautiful. Now, when I first started testing these necks, I have to say, I was expecting there to be more of a pronounced difference between the old WO model and the new KZ model. That's just me though, and I should know better because one thing I've learned from playing on lots of different Yanagisawa saxophones made over several decades is that there is a lot of consistency there. And when they do make changes in a design, those changes are usually very subtle. It's more like making small improvements to what is already an excellent design. After visiting their factory in Tokyo, I have a much more complete understanding of the culture of this company. They're all about tradition and consistently doing one thing to the highest possible standard. It wouldn't be like Yanagisawa to make a wildly different neck. As far as I can tell, the bore hasn't changed. It's the same as the WO neck bore and even the 99 series neck bore before that. The differences are mainly in the extra bits of brass that get attached to the neck bore. As you can see on the WO and 99 series neck, there is a long brass brace on the front that goes from the neck tenon nearly all the way up to the octave key. On the new KZ neck, they have swapped this out for a more traditional badge plate, similar to what you have on a Selmer or Yamaha saxophone, and they have put an additional chevron-shaped plate just above this. On the other side of the neck, the WO design has another brace plate soldered on between the octave key mechanism and the neck cork. The new KZ neck has a similar plate but it is shorter and shifted further down on the neck so that it is basically in contact with the plate that holds the octave key mechanism. This octave key saddle is identical on both models, by the way. There is also a difference in the brass tone ring that is attached to the opening of the neck. On the WO models, you can see it is a bit thicker and squared off. The KZ neck tone ring is beveled and much thinner at the opening. Yanagisawa has been making their saxophone necks, bodies, and bells out of brass, bronze, and solid silver for a long time now. There are subtle differences in how those different metals respond, but those differences are subtle. Their instruments made out of different metals are much more similar than they are different. I like all three versions of the KZ Alto Sax neck. I find them each to have its own unique character. Would I be able to identify them accurately and consistently in a blind test? Probably not. That's how subtle the differences are. It's always difficult to put these things into words, but I found the brass neck to be the darkest, the bronze neck to be the most lively, and the solid silver neck to have a mixture of darkness and liveliness that I like. It's the most balanced and interesting for me. I could happily play on any of the three though. I told you that I discovered a major difference in these different neck designs that hasn't been mentioned anywhere else as far as I know, and that is the length. If we hold these up side by side, we can clearly see that the KZ neck is significantly shorter. That shocked me a bit when I first noticed it because one would think that difference in length would have a much more significant impact on how the necks play. As far as I can tell though, it only really affects how far I need to push my mouthpiece in in order to play in tune. I normally have to push in quite far, just about all the way to the end of the cork. On my other Yanagisawa necks with the KZ neck, I get a few millimeters of cork extra to work with. Compared to my WO neck, I find the KZ neck to play with less resistance, and I attribute this to the tone ring at the very beginning, the entrance of the neck. That difference is minor. It's not wildly less resistant, but it is enough to make for an interesting change. Combine that with more flexibility in the mouthpiece placement, and the KZ neck is a worthwhile 
upgrade for my Yonagasawa at least. I'm gonna go with the solid silver one, even though I do really like that bronze one as well. I put links in the description to where you can find these necks as well as the new Yanni ligatures from an authorized Yanagasawa dealer. Now go watch this video next where I tour the Yanagasawa factory in Tokyo, Japan, and learn why their saxophones are some of the best made anywhere in the world.